Hello friends, the St. Anne's Preservation Society is happy to bring you our fifth installment of our weekly series called Virtual Pilgrimages at St. Anne's Shrine, where each week we take you on a virtual tour around this beautiful and historic shrine and introduce you to some of the hidden and unknown details of this beautiful place of prayer and devotion. In today's episode, we are going to introduce you to a unique display that we have here at the shrine. And that is the uh, image of the Roman pagan or slash Christian convert known as Saint Concordia or Saint Concorde in French, as she was once known here in St. Anne's. If you stay with me, friends, for the next few minutes, we are going to take a closer look and learn a little bit more about this early church figure known as Saint Concordia. We'll be back in a few minutes, friends. Thank you. We begin our journey today in front of the glass case containing the image of St. Concordia. Currently housed in the lower crypt church of the shrine, the image was once inside the frontal of an altar located in the rosary chapel in the upper church behind the main altar. This wax image depicts a young girl, possibly teenage or early 20s, who has been violently flogged to death for her faith. Also contained in the glass case are two first class relics that come from the Priscilla catacombs in Rome. In, as we pan now to the two reliquaries that are at the foot of the case, we can see that there are two um, the first reliquary in the little jar appears to be uh, a first-class relic, possibly some bones, um, which appeared, um, and there are there is the official documentation attached to the jar, showing that it is a relic from the catacomb. And in the gold reliquary, we're actually not sure, but it appears to be maybe some cloth soaked in blood. A little history now on where this particular image came from. In 1887, the city of Fall River, Massachusetts was in the midst of an industrial textile boom. The factories around the city were staffed by mostly immigrants from Ireland and French Canada. The French speaking population had grown so much that the Roman Catholic parish of St. Anne on Hunter Street had to be subdivided into the parish of Notre Dame de Lourdes in the Flint neighborhood of the, in the east end of the city. At this time, Fall River was part of the Diocese of Providence under the direction of Bishop Matthew A. Harkins. In an urgent need to minister to the growing French-speaking population in Fall River, Bishop Harkins requested that the Dominicans from Lewiston, Maine, take over St. Anne's Parish. These religious men were refugees from France that had arrived in the United States in around 1880, after France had expelled religious communities. When these holy men left France and headed for America, they brought with them many prized artifacts from their churches and convents, including this very rare image of St. Concordia and the relics from the catacombs in Rome. Not much is known about St. Concordia, except that there appears to be more of a devotion to her in the Eastern churches, both Catholic and Orthodox, than in the Western Roman Rite. The little history that we do know tells us that St. Concordia was the foster mother of St. Hippolytus of Rome. St. Hippolytus was the chief prison guard at Rome under the emperors Decius and Valerian and was converted to Christianity by St. Lawrence. In the year 258, when St. Hippolytus refused to continue the brutal work of the Roman guard and devoted his life to Christ, Emperor Valerian ordered that his foster mother, Concordia, and all of his servants killed. St. Concordia was violently flogged to death with olive switches and later beheaded. Her body was then thrown on top of a trash heap and was later discovered by Saints Irenaeus and Abundius. She was buried later with her foster son. Her feast day is August the 13th. This particular image dates back to sometime uh, between 1880 and 1885. Um, or even earlier than that, we're actually not quite sure how old the statue is, but it's 
approximately 140 years old because the Dominicans brought it with them to the United States from France. Um, that is what we're told in the history. Um, we don't know uh, exactly um, where it was manufactured or ex the exact age, but it is a very unique and rare image. The placard above the casket uh, states that St. Concordia was a babysitter, uh, a young babysitter, but we're actually not too sure if that is accurate since the only history that we do have is that she was the foster mother of uh, St. Hippolytus. Um, that is probably where the uh, reference of babysitting came from. We hope you enjoyed this tour of St. Concordia at St. Anne's Shrine. Thank you, friends, for joining me for this fifth installment of Virtual Pilgrimages to St. Anne's Shrine. We hope you have enjoyed this information that we shared with you today on St. Concordia and this very unique image here that we have here at St. Anne's Shrine. Please remember that St. Anne's Shrine is staffed completely by volunteers and that we are a shrine and a place of prayer and devotion for everyone. We want you to come to visit. We hope you will come to visit our beautiful shrine here in Fall River, Massachusetts. Please remember to like and to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel, which this video is posted on every week. And again, we hope you'll be able to come to visit us here at the shrine once we reopen to the public uh, after this COVID pandemic. Again, thank you very much, friends, for joining us. We hope you have an enjoyable week. Thank you, and God bless.